let's look at the Lakey Cypress test level 2 exercise. This is pretty much the same test as before and it should pass. Let's see if it does. I already checked out the branch, install dependencies. No, Cypress with two S letters. And to end testing, electron app. Let's see. And it finishes. Okay. So the test looks all right. And if we run it again, it probably will pass. But we're not sure if the test is truly solid and stable. Or is the flake low enough that we don't see it, you know, 9 out of 10 times. So what I want you to do in this exercise is to prove that this test is stable. And prove, not mathematically of course, we cannot prove that the test is stable. It's similar to the halting problem, which is unsolved problem in computer science. We cannot prove that a realistic program or a test is correct. But we can run a bunch of times. I call it burn, meaning execute the test 10, 100 times to make sure you don't observe fail tests. In that case, you can be assured that it's probably a pretty good test. So, how would you do that? Well, it's just JavaScript. We can uh, write a for loop, right? Let's say 10 times call this function. And we can even add k parameter to its title. And now we can see adds person to core zero and so on. So let's observe this test run. Perfect. So it ran 10 times, no problems, the test is pretty stable. Just a small idea, Cypress bundles low dash library and it includes lots of good thingies. One of them is Cypress times, where you can specify again the number of times, okay, and it will give you a callback with a current count and you can do what we've done using for loop using a nice helper from Lodash. Okay, we don't have IntelliSense, no big deal. We can include this special comment to load global types, types for Cypress and now notice our times function from Lodash has nice IntelliSense and the type for each argument. Okay, let's see if this runs. Okay, we are running 20 tests and I'll let it run to the end. All right, notice uh, seventh test failed because it timed out, but the rest of the tests seem to be doing just fine. So this test is flaky, but the flake is pretty low. And I can show you in the JavaScript over source code, I think it's under client. This is where it slows down a callback for actually resolving that saving state. And notice that it's between three and a half seconds and four seconds and 120 milliseconds. And from a previous video, you know that Cypress commands by default, like this one, retry for four seconds. So if a app is resolving it and it can take up to four, you know, four seconds and 100 milliseconds, but 100 milliseconds may sometimes uh, fail the test. So this is how I would confirm that a test is stable or has some flake. I would run it a bunch of times in a row. Ordinarily, I would not modify the source code. Instead, in my day job, we're using my uh, my SciGrep plugin. It's a plugin that allows you to burn tests. You can just specify parameter. You can specify you know, partial title of a test or a test tag, and then you can execute it n times. And what we've been doing when we open a PR and we modify some tests, we run them by default three times automatically, just to make sure that the change on new specs don't have any observable flake. All right.